got a cherry log. I got this uh, cherry uh, from my neighbor. Cherry tree died and she had an outfit come in and they cut it down, cut it into pieces. And I asked her if I could have some and she gave it to me. She just wants to burn it. That's kind of a waste. Whatever, I painted the ends, the end grain here uh, to protect it from drying out too quick. It's like a bunch of small straws, you know. If you don't put anything on it, it'll dry out and it'll crack about three inches into the log. We don't want to have that. Now you can get better stuff. I just painted it with latex paint. You can get the stuff that's got wax in it. It's like a wax paint and that's the good stuff. But I didn't have any so I used what I had. Here we got a cherry log. Uh, we're going to cut her up into planks or blocks or blanks for turning. We'll see what we make out of it. It looks like a pretty nice log. I don't know if she'll fit under the bandsaw, but we'll give it a try. Okay, if you're wondering what kind of resaw blade I'm using, I'm using a three-point and it's half inch wide. Usually I run the three-quarter, but my three-quarter is a bit on the dull side, so I just put it in the half and I use that. It seems to do all right. Okay, here I had to stop the bandsaw. The bark on the log here was getting hung up on the guide bearings and a set screw. So uh, once you get this cleared out of the way, we should be on our way. This is the reference here, so we go off the reference line.
cut some three inch slabs right now. I'll cut some twos, some threes. See where we end up. Okay, here you can see this piece, that's a three inch piece. Uh, it'll be drying now for three years. It's one inch per year. That's uh, the way we dry it. Many years ago, we cut a whole bunch of logs, cut them all into planks. We had a guy come in with a portable sawmill and he cut the planks for us and uh, we air dried them. And I got some, I think, that's probably 10 years old now in my woodshed. So, I don't know, you see me use this little jig here. I made that up to cut the shorter pieces and I've got a long one. I don't know if it's worthwhile to do a video on them or measurements. This is my long one, so I can cut quite a piece of wood with it. Yeah, that's a nice piece of cherry. 